Hey guys, um, in this video today what I'm going to show you is a game that I've been working on. I'm going to show you some of the stuff that I've been developing um, in between all the tutorials and um, yeah, just show you what I've been up to if you're interested. Maybe you'll get some cool ideas for things that you want to develop in your own games or tutorials that you'd like to see me make based on the stuff that I've been doing. Um, but yeah, so I'll just show you from start, like it's it's very basic and bare at the moment because I haven't finished all the mechanics but um, it's got a save game system um, so we're just gonna restart from the beginning so you spawn in with your little mannequin um, you can switch to a first person mode with a reticle and shoot a laser around like that um, you've got a couple of abilities so if I just shoot myself and take damage I've got a heal ability like that you can also see that the, um, the camera shapes and the, you get a red flash when you take damage um, this is going to be like a little house thing, I won't worry too much about that later. This is a portal to a level. Um, don't worry about the name, that's an inside joke between me and my little brother. Um, <laughs> but basically the idea is that you've got a little home here. Um, that's just the portal to the first level. But you've got this thing here, which is, it's going to have a big map full of different little areas that you can unlock. And the idea is that you click on these and it opens up the, the level and takes you to that part of the map. And then when you're in that part of the map, there'll be another portal in there for you to find. Um, and then once you unlock that, you can come back to your little house here and you can access the next the next area. And you've got to go all through those and you've got to complete the game. So this is just loading right now. Um, when this loads up, I'll run through the level a little bit. Okay. So I'll run through the level a bit and show you kind of what the game's about. So the idea is that you're in this little house, you spawn at the start, there's a big world out there, um, which is randomly generated every time, which is probably my th the coolest thing that I've ever created in Unreal Engine is this random generator that I've used to generate these levels, and I'll um, talk a little bit more about that in a second. But basically, there's a portal somewhere out there in the world um, that I need to get to without dying. I've got a health bar up in the top left, a mana bar, which is for your heal ability, and a sprint, so I've got a sprint ability like that. Um, and another thing that I forgot to show is if I jump and take aim midair, I've got this slow motion mechanic. So I'm kind of like in Breath of the Wild when you're falling and you pull out your bow. Um, and you might have seen some enemies out there as well. So there's this guy running around. He'll explode when he runs into you. I'll just go out there and I'll show you some of this stuff and then we'll, I'll break into the um, engine afterwards. So something just saw me. Okay, he's just kind of now I'll show you that slow motion mechanic. I jump, slow motion, and he's dead. Okay, so here's the world. Hopefully I don't die because it's really hard. Um, let's just go for a run around. Oh, run out of stamina. Don't worry about that. So we're running around like this. I won't go into. Too, I won't spend too long here. These are the exploding enemies. And this sword man, he's really strong. He's probably going to kill me right now. Okay. Uh, he's Okay, so that's it. So <laughs> that's the basic game. Now let's break into the engine because I know that's probably what you want to see. So let's just open up this Pasqualdo Plains thing. That was the map we were just in, by the way. <coughs> so what this looks like, if we go simulate and we run this from the top and have a look at it, I'll show you a little bit of what's going on behind the scenes. So what it's doing now is it's randomly generating a map for me. And this is what it looks like. So if we scroll all the way out, that's the map that we spawned into before. Um, this one over in the corner is the house that you started in. So you spawned in there, right in the corner, and then the whole world is random. Um, this here, that's the exit. That's the exit tile in there. Um, this door needs a key, and there is a key somewhere spawned in this entire world. Um, that is r it right there, I believe. It's only a 2D widget, and it'll face the camera when you're playing, but... Um, you can't really see it when you're in the simulation, but so you need to get that key, which could have spawned anywhere in this um, grey area, by the way. Um, and then when you get that, you go in there, you unlock the next level. So this is what the map looks like from the top. 
Um, and if you take a good look at that, and then I'll stop that and then simulate again, um, we should get a completely different um, configuration. So let's just give that a sec. Hopefully my computer's not running too slowly. Okay, there we go. So we got a we got a different one now. Um, basically, how this works is that everything in here is a um, it's all made on specific tiles like this. They're all tiles of the same size, and on each tile is a different um, like set of structures and enemies and things like that. So down here we've got some of these guys. We've got some shooting blokes in there with guns, and they're all different colors. The colors represent tiers. Um, and we've also got these turrets all scattered through this area. So this area here, um, you'll notice that this is of a different style to the rest of it. And you'll see how it's all clumped together like that in the one spot. Um, that's called, what I've called it is, I've just called it a seed. And basically, in the, um, the blueprint used to generate this world, there's the option to have... Um, a specific set of tiles occupy the overworld, so that's these brown ones. But there's also the option to spawn these little, um, this is a 2x3, I believe. Yeah, 2x3 tile or like 3x3. Three three. There's option. There's an option to tick that can make little themed areas like this of a um, whatever size that you like. And the idea is that in those themed areas, the air, um, enemies are like noticeably more challenging. Like these guys are a lot stronger. You can't see because we're in simulation. But when you walk close to these guys, they're a lot more vicious than any other enemies that are in the entire map. And this is where the key's hidden, of course. So you need to find this area, get the key, and then find your way to the exit. Um, so that's that. A couple of these tiles are only once-off tiles as well. Like a few of these, you'll see, um, are just repeating themselves. Like this one here with the glowing red thing down there is just a copy of this one over here. So they're exactly the same tile, just rotated differently. Um, but there are rare tiles like this one here. So this one's like a little temple with a little pickup thing inside um, with four turrets around the edge. And you can see that there's not many of those. There's, oh, there's another one over here. But there is stuff that's only once off occurring. So this big um, block thing here, that's only got one door around the edge somewhere, which you might not even be able to get into at the moment. I didn't design the level particularly well. But that's only a once off tile, and that's got a special pickup inside. Um, same goes for this tall tower thing over here. There's a special pickup inside of that, which is a mana pickup, which will permanently increase the player's mana. Um, so that's, yeah, that's a once off. We've also got this one over here, which is a bit of a castle looking thing. And then at the very tip top, there's a little ability unlock here. Um, and that unlocks a new mechanic for the player to use, which in this case, it's a beacon. So while they're up here and they get that ability, they then earn the power to cast a beacon somewhere in the world so that they can, when they're on the ground like this and they can't see particularly well, they look up into the sky and they can see where they need to go. Um, so that's a demonstration of that. Here's the blueprint. This is just a billboard that um, I put in the middle of the map to just symbolize where the center is. And down here, we've got a bunch of different um, parameters that we can change. So the map size, the number of tiles, what I might do is I might just show you how this actually works in a separate um, level. So what if we just crack open a new level like that? Um, we can get rid of this, and if I just type in a randomizer and just plonk that in the world like that, set that at 0, 0, 0. Um, what you can see down here is we've got tiles. Uh, actually, you know what, I might not do this in a separate one because I'll need to set up some levels. Oh, you know what? I guess I could do that. I'll try to do it really quick. Um, actually, no, you know what? I can't be bothered. I changed my mind again. So let's just get out of this. And we'll just go back to our other level. And I'll just I'll just show you what they, what's actually going on instead of trying to rebuild it all because that'll take too long. I might do that in another video if you're interested. So number of tiles, I could change that to more or less. At the moment, it's 7x7. Seven seven. Um, you could make that as big as like 20 or even larger if you wanted um, down here into level spawning, this is where, so there's an option for specific levels, um, which is like the start and the finish, um, and any special tiles that you want. So I've just called this 666S for the start, 666F for the finish, um, and if you look up here, uh, 666S is the start, so if I click visible on that, that's what this tile looks like, that's the start tile. F is the finish, which is the same thing, but a portal inside. Um, 
down here we've got 666 pickup which is one of the rare once off tiles with that um, cube in the middle um, so basically the idea is with their specific levels is they spawn in every single generation of this so these are the ones that must spawn um, everything else is basically it's got a probability so for example these overworld tile themes is basically I've got a big drop down here of all the different tiles that spawn in the overworld so this one is 66601, that's 04, 05, etc, etc. Um, so if I show you what those look like, 01 is just this tile, so it's just like that. Um, 04 is this tile, 05 is this one, like that. And the idea is that <coughs> each one of these, um, whenever the generator is looking to fill in a, specific, a particular tile, that wasn't one of these specified ones in the beginning because they're defined first because they're essential. The rest of them are filled with these overworld and the idea is that whenever it gets to an overworld tile it'll randomly pick any tile in this list like that um, and put that in there and it won't just pick any random one is that they've got a probability ratio as well so this one has a ratio of one of being spawned um, this one has one as well, I believe. This one has a 0.8, so that one's a little bit rarer than the rest. Um, and they all have their own probabilities down there. So you can have rare ones that, um, say, are really difficult or contain really good treasure or something that hardly ever pop up. Um, it makes it a lot more dynamic. And then we've got this seed info thing. Now, you would, you'd you'd remember um, where I showed you that grey area in the last map where the key was. Um, that's set up using this. So what this does is so here's an entry for the seeds it's got three different types of tiles so if I show you I've named it 666 seed one because it's just one seed entry with um, three different tiles so this is the first one like that second one is like that and the third one is like that and so um, the rest of these parameters are just customizing the size so it spawns a center tile and then one tile around it um, in each direction so this ends up being a three by three filled with these particular levels um, there's the probability of this seed spawning which is one because I always want that one to spawn because that's the one that contains the key um, random position so they can rotate in random orientations etc oh sorry the random position one that's um if that's not ticked you can actually define the coordinates of where you want that to spawn in the world so if I type in one and one it'll spawn right in the corner of the map but if I say random position, it'll just pick a random um, set of tiles in the world and we'll convert those to seed tiles like that. Um, and then here we've just got a second seed, which is one that actually has a low probability of spawning. So this is like a secret one that only spawns 20% um, of the time. And this has got its own unique set of tiles, which I'll just show you really quick. So as you can see, it's like a unique theme. It's like a kind of like a little fortress or like a castle kind of thing but it hardly ever spawns, it's rare, and that just makes the game more interesting because the player feels like they find something, found something unique to them, you know? Um, some walls generate around the map so the player can't fall off, and this is just the height of it. Um, and I've got like an item scattering system as well, so I won't go into too much detail about that, but what's going on here is you'll see this little thing, this little icon like that, that's a position for a potential enemy. So I've marked that like that with that actor, and I'll just quickly see if I can find one with an item spawner as well. Um, I'm not sure that I have any... Let me just keep having a look. I'll see if I can find one. But basically, there are little enemy marker things. But the item spawner basically just looks like that, but it's just got a different icon. And basically, I put them in whatever tiles I feel like I want items to potentially spawn in. And then what I've got in this randomizer blueprint is I can define a list of items that I want to spawn in the level. And then what will happen is the randomizer will go and pick up, it'll identify all of those blueprints that I put in the world where items could potentially spawn. And then it will spawn this list of items that I've defined at random positions that I've placed in the world. Um... So I've got a random scattered item detail so that I could put in like pickups, like health pickups or like money or whatever, just shit that just, it's random and pops up all the time. But there's also special items. So these are things like um, ability unlocks and things like that. So I can have 
there are two different types of item spawners. There are the common ones, which are the random scattered ones, and there are the special ones. So you put the special ones in the more difficult places, um, and then this um, item spawning thing here, this will select all of the more difficult item places, and it'll spawn the list of items that you've defined here at random difficult item places. Hopefully that makes sense. And the same goes with the enemies. So I've got a list of easy enemies, medium enemies, and hard enemies, and they're fucking insane enemies. And the idea is that this entire list gets spawned into the map at the positions that I've placed on the levels. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, it probably doesn't because I feel like I explained that really poorly because I tried to rush through it. But, you know, hopefully that gives you a taste of what this thing's doing and what I'm working on. Um, so, with all that explained, maybe I'll just go through this again. So that's your starting tile down there that was defined. The glass here are the walls so that you can't fall off the map. This area here is one of the seeds. Um, it's spawned as a 3x3 three three tile, just like that. And this will contain the key, which is just there. That's the key which is necessary to open that door which is spawned all the way over here this time. Um, so that's that. And as you can see, there's this big building here, which was another specific tile that always spawned. And that has a little entrance down here, and it has this really tough enemy inside running around. I might explain the enemies more later. And inside here, there's a rare little trophy thing that is like a once-off pickup. So that's like your reward for finding that particular tile and um, facing that tough enemy. So that's that. Um, let me know if you like this video, guys. Um, if you want me to talk more about this or maybe explain how to do it. I have got a tutorial called Random Level Generator, which is me... It's about a 40 minute long tutorial creating a very basic version of this thing. Um, this took friggin' ages to make, but it's really robust and dive it's got a lot of potential. Um, and I'm gonna, this is gonna be the basis for my entire game. I'm gonna build, I don't know, like maybe 30 different levels using this generator um, and different kinds of enemies and things like that. And that's gonna be the game. So let me know if you like this tutorial. Oh, I was just gonna say, yeah, so you could watch that other tutorial about. Um, building this thing if you wanted and if you're interested I could maybe make a new series dedicated to building this thing again from scratch so that you can use it in your own games let me know if you like this kind of stuff um, and if you're interested in me talking more about this development because there's a lot more I could talk about like the AI is pretty cool in this as well um, I won't go into that into depth here but you could see them running around and shooting at me and things like that um, but I think I might leave that there. Let me know if you've got any questions about any of this as well. Um, and I might be back soon when I've developed more to this and I'll show you some more cool stuff soon. So see you next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.